Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. I'm doing a review today on something I am super excited about. This company reached out and they said we want to send you these little things for you to show and I'll show you those in a minute, but I'm going to show you why I was super excited about it. So this is the window of our living room. So that's the view we have, but you can see how I have the little hummingbird feeders and we literally can sit in our living room and look out and we watch the hummers. We get tons of them. There's none here right now, but we will get, oh gosh, sometimes four or five at a time. And I think that they are so cool and they're fun to watch. Oops, hold on, let me, let me bring you back down. They're super fun to watch. And because we have these and we can watch them go up in the trees and I think they nest up there, I'm gonna show you what we got or what, the, what I got sent to show you that I'm excited about. All right, these are from the Best World Company. I will put a link in the description where you can get these. And what it is, it's an adorable set of three wooden little hummingbird feeders. Let me bring you in a little closer and you can see them better. I am so excited about these because I'm going to go hang these over where I see the hummingbirds go. They leave our feeders and they go right over into the pine trees and the laurels. And so I'm going to set these up there and I think it'll just give them you know, a little bit more protection when we've got bad weather or rain or that kind of thing. It even has this little thing that's kind of like a little, a little water catch right there so it doesn't get wet in there. And I am loving it. It even has a little, um, on here, that's not like a screw in, but it's, uh, it's kind of handy if you want to put it on a post or something. But I'm going to hang it in the trees and then that way it'll move around like a nest would in the trees. It's got this cute little hummingbird design on the side and it looks like a little bush right there and it's a set of three that you get and they are so fun and I'm going to put those over I will put them up and then I'll take you out and show you how we hung them up and then we'll just leave them there and hopefully it will encourage the little hummers to go in there and nest and I just think it's adorable and I am really appreciate Best World for contacting me and saying hey you know I get contacted to do all kinds of stuff but I only do stuff that I genuinely am interested in or would use myself. Um, and these, I definitely would. I'm so excited about going out and hanging them up. So let me go hang them up and then I will show you how we hung them up. And when I start seeing hummingbirds, I don't know how long it will take, but hopefully we'll get some in there and I can show them to you then. Okay, so I've come outside. It's a beautiful day out too, which is nice. And I'm gonna show you three different places that I put them and we'll see how they do. So is here on this arbor, this is an old arbor, and we always feel like it's going to fall down, but this, this is like a purple hydrangea vine, and it kind of holds the whole thing together. But the birds love this. We've got a little bird bath under here. But I tucked one of them kind of into the little corner there, and we'll see how that does. So hopefully that will work out just fine. And now I'll take you over to one of the other ones. Okay, so over here on this side, this is the west side of the yard. And over here... I put it, you hear my neighbor's dog barking, um, there it is, it's up in a laurel bush, so I've got it up there, and I feel like that's going to help keep it, you know, kind of protected, but still where I can kind of keep an eye on it, so that's super nice, see how that is, and yeah, that bush is on the other side of this fence, but this fence is not our property line. It's, uh, we have this fence up here just as a windbreak on the west side, but it goes on before the, beyond that. So it's okay being in there. It's not going to get cut down unless I know about it. So now we're going to head around here. And I put one back here. Brian said to put both of them in these arbors, but I don't want to because I want to have them tucked away where I think that the hummers would normally nest. And so back here I have this huckleberry bush. I think I'm making my neighbor's dog a little crazy. Right here. And I've hung it in there. So see? See how it's just tucked up in there? And I think that's a good place. I'll be able to keep an eye on it. And it's nice because there's nothing really that happens back here. It's just Brian has wood hoops and then there's nothing back here. It just goes. That's where our chicken coop used to be, but, um, but they're not even there now because I moved the coop. So here we have the hummingbird feeder here, or house here, and then one over on the side of that barn, and then one in the center of our yard in that arbor. So that will be good. I feel like the hummingbirds will be happy. And when I was putting the one up in this huckleberry bush, 
there was a hummingbird in there. So that's kind of cool. So I will keep you guys updated and we'll see how they go. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.